So here's the newest season for Android application. It's actually on the newest Dell Streak. And here we're just going to access it. It's a beautiful screen. So And there's a little seasoning icon. You're just going to click on there. And we see that we have a totally new UI. So you have your tabs as usual. And you can actually access your main functions in the right-hand corner over here, as well as press on the menu to bring up additional options. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the timeline as usual. So you can see everything as usual with the links and pick preview. And what's new and different about this one is you can click on the little raccoon icon to access all your accounts. Here we have a Twitter account, Google Buzz. We actually have two Twitter accounts, Google Buzz, and then we have the new Salesforce chatter. Uh, I'm actually going to access the Salesforce chatter right now. And it's cool because you can actually look at all your feed. It includes everything from pick preview that you can access here, and you can view more comments, additional comments here. And then you can go back. You can actually access your files that are shared with you. Here on the tab, we can actually access our groups, so any groups that you're a part of. Your people tab to see who you're following and who you can follow. And you can also access your profile. So here we're going to compose a message in the chatter feature. So we're going to click on the compose button. And then you can just prepare your message. So you can just say hi from Seismic. Okay. And in the right hand corner, I'm going to click on the little camera icon. So I'm going to attach a picture. It's going to give me several options. But here I'm just going to take a photo. So I'm going to pan out here. Take a picture of the scenery from our office. Attach that. Okay. And here in the right in the left hand corner we'll see the camera icon again and with a number and that indicates how many attachments I have. I can click on here to review my attachments. And if I wanted to delete them or review and figure out which ones I wanted. What's cool about this one is I can go back to my message and right now it's sending from my chatter account. I can actually post from multiple accounts. So I can click on the actual account here and it'll review all my accounts that I have access to. So I wanted to post from my chatter account and my Google Buzz account. And you get a little message on the bottom telling you you're about to post a public and private account simultaneously because my chatter account is private and my Google Buzz is public. So there's a little message here to let you know that hey you're going to post to a public and private account and from here you can figure out if you want to do that or not. So here I'm okay with that. So I'll press OK and you can see here it'll let you know that you're sending this from two accounts. So you can just click on send and you're ready to go. Okay so I'm going to show you some new features we've added to Twitter and we're going to click on the compose a message icon in the right hand corner. And what's cool about this one is we actually included a contact picker or a friend picker if you like. So I'm going to start with the mention sign and I'm going to put in ME and you see that there's actually contacts that are appearing. So at Luik, if you see that, I wanted to mention him but since I forgot, like say I, I forgot his Twitter handle, I just mentioned his last name. So it actually popped up as Louis Lamont. So actually that's pretty cool that you can actually type in their last name and or their Twitter handle and it appears. So you can click and it'll auto populate with the Twitter handle that I wanted. So at Louis. And you can just finish your message. Have fun at the web. Uh, additionally, what you can do is you can attach your location, which is right here in the right-hand corner, so a little geolocation pin, and it'll give me three options. Right now, I'm just going to attach my location, and you can see here that you see the little gear wheel icon or the little spinning wheel icon letting you know that it's working, and then it populates with the closest location possible, depending on your GPS. The new Seismic for Android actually works great in landscape mode and also works awesome in portrait mode. It's ideal for any phone really. You can use it on bigger screens such as the Dell Streak or you can actually 
use it on smaller screen phones as well. So look for Steve McBrand right now. It's available on the marketplace.